white picture. There goes a bunch of white Jesus pictures on the back of that van right there. So, so you, so you got yeah, okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you a question. What is the obsession with Africans and white Jesus? Can you, can you please tell me? If Jesus was really a black man, why are all the pictures white in Africa? Like, can you please tell me? What are, what's the exception? I have, I have, I've never heard that Jesus is a black man. Yeah, he, okay, so you think he's white? Yeah, I think he's white. You think Jesus is white? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, why you love him? Okay. <laughs> I, think, I think Jesus is white. You think he's white? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, at least you're honest. Because people want to argue with me that, Dinus, Jesus has African origins. I'm like, this white guy I see all over Africa, if, if he has African origins, he's an Afrikaner from South Africa. Jesus was an Afrikaner from South Africa. That's what I tell everybody. If he has, if this white guy has African origins, he was an Afrikaner from South Africa. Isn't that right, taxi cab driver? Isn't that right? Was he, was he an Afrikaner from South Africa? Jesus. Sorry, did you believe Jesus is white or black? Uh, well, of course, I think uh, he came from Africa. Okay, but, but he's, he's white. But he's white? Yes. But was he, uh, is he an Africaner? Yes, he's African. According to the history, he said he came from Africa. But, but he's a white. But he's a white guy from Africa. So he's an Africaner? Yes. South Africa? No, not South Africa. I think uh, we need not... One of these African countries, in Ethiopia, Egypt, or something like that. Y'all, we gonna we gonna help my African friends out. Like I, I promise you, I'm gonna turn them around. I'm gonna turn them around one day. I, I promise you. Like one day, I'm gonna turn them around, and we're not gonna believe in white Jesus anymore. Okay. That's my mission okay, in so, life. So how, you, so how do you wanna do this now? How do you wanna achieve this? I'm gonna run for president, and I'm gonna make a, a, a law that if I see a white picture of Jesus, you get 30 days in prison. So wait, wait, you, you get fined for having so, white, so white so white Jesus. Where do you want to run the presidency, like in the U.S.? I'm gonna run, run here in uh, Lagos. <laughs> A lot of nah, I probably, I probably marry Ebo woman. Okay. Because they're good at business. I have, I have, I've never heard that Jesus is a black man. Okay, so you think he's white? Yeah, I think he's white. You think Jesus is white? Yeah. <laughs> I have, I have, I've never heard that Jesus is a black man. Okay, so you think he's white? Yeah, I think he's white. You think Jesus is white? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you think he's white? Yeah, I think he's white. You think Jesus is white? Yeah. <laughs> I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Racha Hakodash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, love, aquarium, that's to the elect. Shalom. And I want to go into a video, a touch on this video, okay? I was scrolling through and it popped up uh, about um, this is a, this took place in, uh, this video is taking place in. Nigeria, this clip that I put in taking place in Nigeria, um, where the, uh, a lot of the Israelites are, okay, and this is just an example of what plantation Christianity does to our people. Now, and I put Jesus in the title because we all hate using that word, okay. Um, I, I put Jesus there so it can, it'll it'll reach where it needs to go. Uh, and, you know, that's why we push the uh, effort of not using Jesus as the name of the Lord. OK, that's a Greek name. That wasn't his name. But these people that you see that are completely zonked out and zoned out, there's absolutely nothing you can do for them. And this guy that was speaking with her, I watched pretty much most of the clip. He, he he doesn't believe in Christianity at all. He practiced uh, voodoo, okay? But he knows something is wrong with Christianity. He's even uh, touching on the fact that they put, they put this white Jesus up, and because the one you call Jesus came from that region, how the hell could he be white? Now, you people that are involved in the black conscious community, okay, just in general for our so-called black people, maybe you need to fly over there and help them out, okay? Which, that's not going to do any good because you ain't you don't have the truth either. But our people are gone to Esau, okay? They're gone. So before you get to the, the, to the step you come through to get to us, 
uh, that's why this truth is in, in levels. Before you can get to even being an Israelite, you got to wipe off the white Jesus, number one, that name, number two, okay? And all other false philosophies, number three. Before you can get to the correct philosophy, or let me say the correct doctrine, the correct belief, then when you come and become an Israelite, then, then from there you have to um, you have to push yourself forward to get to the correct doctrine, even the Israelite uh, community, okay? Because there's so many different groups, so many different beliefs. Esau can make it, okay? Esau's coming to the kingdom. There's even one group that teach that the Israelites, two-thirds are going into slavery. <laughs> if you can believe that. I've done a video on them a while back. Two-third mountains of Israel or whatever they call themselves. They believe two-thirds are going into slavery. Okay, but anyway. This guy was talking about Africana. And what came to my mind is Scipio Africanus. But first, well, let me go on the fact that Hosea 4 and 6 says, My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because thou have rejected knowledge. That's why the Lord is rejecting, okay, these uh, two-thirds. Okay, and this is just something how plantation Christianity is all over the globe. I've seen a, a, a synagogue, well, a church, uh, for the Chinese Church of Christianity or something like that. I, I haven't seen it all. When, I, when it comes to these religions, I think we, us is in the truth, we haven't seen it all. Okay, this, um, this Africana, uh, if I'm not mistaken, which go in the Scipio Africanus. Okay, it says, uh, Con, Con, Conella Africana Major. Okay, I'm literally just looking this up. It might be more information on that. It says, um, it says, was the first daughter of Amelia Tetler and Scipio Africanus. Okay. So I'd imagine that's what they're going into, talking about that Africana white, whites. And that's where they get the name from, okay, Africa, which loosely translates to not cold. Okay, but that's where they get their name from, okay, Africanus. Okay, and that art imitates life, you know. And I, as I said before, um, in order for them to whitewash an image and put up a new image, Meaning the old image had to be the uh, authentic image. So why why did they put up a new image? Okay. Of 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 Sejra. Okay. Borgia. Oh, let's go back to Serapis Christi. Let's go on even on back. Okay. Going back to the Egyptian worship. Okay. Osiris. Okay. Um that and that's I don't really have much to say on this, man. It's just I just wanted to push that <laughs> this point of uh, that plantation uh, Christianity uh, have really destroyed our people. Anyway, let's go to Luke 12 and 2. It says, For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Now, why is the, the color of the Messiah so important? Okay, they'll say Jesus. But why is the color so important? Well, ask John the Revelator that, okay? Ask him that, okay? At the bottom line is the Most High set set everything up, okay? So if you have a loved one that has passed on in a funeral and then they put a picture of some Chinese person up there and you're a so-called black person, you're going to be pissed. You think the Lord the same way? The Lord said he's a jealous power. He said I'm jealous. Why do you think we're in the condition we're in? So you don't think he's going he to be jealous of how you portrayed his son? Let's go to Revelation 1 and 1, the revelation of uh, Yahweh Shah, which Yahweh gave unto him to shew the servants things which must shortly come to pass and sent and signified it by the angel unto his servant John, okay? who bear record of the word of Yahweh and the testimony testimony of Yahweh and all the things um, that he saw. Okay, so did he not see uh, uh, Yahweh and how he looked? 
Okay, so let's go on. Um, let's go to 19. Uh, it says, and I'm going to go back. It says, write the things which thou hast seen. Okay, and the things which are and the things which shall be thereafter, hereafter. And that's go, always go, going into the microchip and everything else with some of the stuff. Uh, some of the things he may not have, you know, he would not have understood. Okay, but, you know, we're back here now. The prophet's. Are back here now, uh, enlightening with more understanding. Okay, it's verse fourteen. It says his head and his hairs were white like wool. See, and the Edomites take that white and say, "Uh oh, he had white face." Okay, now there's two different kind of whites. Okay, you have white pure, which is white, and you have white of leprosy. Okay, now his head and his hairs, which mean his head on the top of his head and his hairs. Would have been his his beard, okay? But they're trying to say, uh oh, it's saying his whole head was white. I mean, that's the stereotype that Esau got because Esau not even white. Esau is red, and it says like wool, okay? Because it's not wool, but it's a, like a texture of wool, okay? As white as snow. You know, I even heard our own people, a lot of our own people say that, man. Our own people will say, the one you call Jesus is an Arab before they would even admit. That he's a so-called uh, black man, a uh, Jake. They will go to the fact and say, "Oh, he was Arab. He wasn't white though, but he we found out he was Arab." That's crazy, man. The hatred our people have toward their own skin. That's where it stems from, man. That slavery. Okay, it says, um, verse fourteen. His head, his hair is white as snow. His eyes were a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they, talking about both his feet, as if they burned past tense in a furnace. You know, you got these these Edomites will say, oh, it was going red burning. That's why it was burned. It was burning red. Now, to me, that's pure racist in itself. Okay. If everybody claims that it doesn't matter what skin color he has, well, how come when it comes to trying to get the true understanding of what he looked like, everybody leans toward being a so-called white man? If they didn't care, if they cared, they didn't care about uh, it doesn't matter what, what color he was. He was all love. Doesn't matter, but John put it in there. But then yet all these, these uh, Bible thumpers and the people who are against him being so-called black is fighting for him to stay white. Now you would think if he was fighting for him to stay white, there would have been no reason for him to paint it over and make him a, a, a white man. Everybody know he had, even Edomites, the average white person know that he was not a so-called white man, Caucasian. The average person know that, but look at our people. You got more Edomites believe uh, the one you call Jesus is a so-called black man more than our own people, man. Okay? This is how disgusting it is. But do you have that thing called the Renaissance? And then they painted that picture of Cesar Borgias. Okay? What was the reason to paint that? If he was a so-called white man, you wouldn't have had to paint that image, would you? Anyway. Um, that's just, you know, this video is just to prove the disgustingness of Esau, man, okay, and our people who follow Esau, that's why the scripture says, though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be un go unpunished, man, you wicked Israelites, man, you're not going to go unpunished for this behavior, okay, because you want uh, uh, sweet Jesus to be a so-called white man, okay, you hate yourself, you the same people, this is why our people shoot and kill, <laughs> rob and destroy, but then in the Edomite neighborhoods, they'll roll right on through that. They'll protect Esau. Okay? That's all I have on that. Shalom.